this comes very highly recommended. Oh, good. Because yeah. of the conversational part. Like right. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, we're talking about the show we just, yeah. uh, we're on. Yeah. It's uh, Lizzie and Josh from Fatal Attraction. Yeah. Premiering today with three episodes exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Uh, behind the bars, it is uh, the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning. Streaming yeah. now on Peacock. Katarina, Ella, and Johan. So is this... So is death cleaning something that you all made a business of in Sweden and then you brought over here for the show, basically? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like deeply rooted in the culture to not burden others, take care of your stuff. You start early on sorting your things out, not burning others. What is the difference between Americans doing this for Americans and doing this at home? You have more stuff. We have more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. A lot that is, of them. That tracks. <laughs> that tracks. That does track. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the virtual fans. Bridget and Megan from Michigan. What's your question for Lizzie Kaplan? Hi, Andy. Hi. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Joshua. Hi. So, Lizzie, how are you able to keep it under wraps that you would make a cameo in the finale for the party down revival and are there any talks about a second season of the reboot uh, everybody is really 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 hoping for a second season probably nobody more than me because I wasn't able to be there for most of the first season uh, of the what reboot. were you shooting when they were shooting that this? Fleischman is in trouble Fleischman. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and I have high hopes I mean I think it was really brilliant and they nailed it and it was wonderful uh, but yeah we it wasn't that hard to keep it a secret. We laugh about how, like the old days when we made the original Party Down, nobody's really Nobody paying much yeah. attention. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Um, here's Amy from the Cayman Islands with a question wow. for Josh. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> Hi. All right, so Joshua, what yeah. do you remember about going to high school with Ryan Reynolds and have the two of you stayed friends as you both blew up in Hollywood? Uh, Where did you he, grow up that you went to high school? In Vancouver, so he went okay. to Kits High. Um, he is a year older than me, and I think we all remember that that is a big difference when you're in high school. Yeah, right, right. So we were not in the same uh, like social clique when we were right. in high school, but we bumped into each other over the years. He still lives, some of the time, he still lives in Vancouver. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, virtual fans. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming you were both big fans of the original Fatal Attraction movie. Yes. Fair. I mean, yes. I, I'm a, I'm more of a fan now of the original Fatal Attraction movie than I, because I watched it when I was really way too young to be right. getting any of what was actually happening in that uh -huh. movie. And it was only when we I watched it again for this, I was like, wow, this is a really excellent film. It's such a good movie. How does it lend itself to a 10-part series, by the way, would you say? Well, the, I mean, the, the two big pieces that are unexplored, partially because it's a um, film and partially because it's just 1987, are... She's just a crazy person. Right. And he has no consequences or guilt or shame for his actions uh -huh. at all. So yeah. having all so of the get extra to sit space. in both of those areas. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Which Show is... more kindness towards her and a little bit harsher treatment <laughs> yeah, of he, him. Right. He, it's a much rougher go for Dan. Yeah. <laughs> have either of you heard from Glenn or Michael in any of this? No. Well, I, you I did. bumped into Glenn. So I, I did a movie with Glenn Close 15 years ago now. So I have the occasion every once in a while to bump into her and be like, hey, Ma, how are you? Right. And I told her that we were doing this, and she has, and she said this publicly, so it's not talking out of turn, but she has kind of mixed feelings about that film and what it meant, because it was obviously a very important moment in her career, but also she put a lot of work and effort into, into playing her version of Alex that did not make it to the screen. Right. Or, or at least made it to the screen, but wasn't centered in the story. Right. And so I told her, look, we're doing this, and we're actually trying to do what you wanted to do in the beginning. Right. right? We're really giving the space to know who Alex is and also delving into the psychology of the type of man who does this and why you reach out and da 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 And so she was, like, you know, moderately interested in that, but it basically boiled down to just don't f*** it up. Right. <laughs> cool. Boiled. Boiled. Down to. Boiled down to. Thank Fun you. Boiled. Uh, a mm. plug and a plug. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Lizzie. Thank good. you, Josh. Good. Thank you to the Swedish Death Cleaners. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.